Hey there, folks. So, I have your game today that's, uh, new. You try to do adventures, alternating with other stuff, and sometimes the adventures are old, sometimes they're newer. And, uh, this game, The Academy of the First Riddle, actually just came out in the last year, mid-2020. It's like a point-and-click adventure game, but, um, it's like a puzzle-based game, where I can tell. So it's like the Professor Layton series, if folks have played that. On the Nintendo DS, um, which I played, you know, when they came out a bunch of years, I guess like 10 years ago, I guess, or so, and I had a lot of fun with them. So, um, I wanted to try this one out and see if it's any good, and, uh, I did play it for maybe, you know, a couple of minutes, just to just make sure it worked. That's about it. But, uh, let's jump into the game and see how it is. And, uh, is the video working and everything? I think it is. Looks like things are working. Alright, let's get started. So, um, one thing that's annoying about this game is the, <laughs> the menus really suck. But, uh, I did figure out how to, like, when I, once I click this one time, you can't, like, go back. It's an autosave. You can't go back and, like, start over unless you have to find the hidden secret, uh, Function unless you start the game over. Right, here we go. Is that some secret academy or something? I don't know if it's supposed to be like Hogwarts or what. Yeah, I was like killed or I'm not sure what happened to him. And this is you. That's pretty bland. Pretty generic character. Turtle Ray, and you got like a, a letter and uh, an, uh, some kind of outfit. It says the Academy. And some scribbling. I think it's supposed to be like an invitation to join the Academy, whatever that is. And there's a cutscene that I can skip if I want, but I'm not going to skip it. Austerity. Right now, I, I think I just arrived at the academy, signed a mission exam today. I'm pulling up those school bus as if like, I'm like you know, a five year old. Hey Ross, how's it going? I was watching someone play this game yesterday on YouTube channel. It was like a pretty good game to me. You know what's funny, by the way? I, I went live for like three minutes um, about half an hour ago by accident. And I didn't even realize I was live, and, and I think I got three viewers, like, watching those three minutes. <laughs> um, so maybe those three viewers now are like, I might have to back here, like, he's with Cries Wolf. All right, hold, hold WASD to, 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 uh, to walk. So it's like, you know, a 3D-based game. Mission exam, main hall. First time I tried to go to the left, so we tried to go to the right, I mean, let's try to go to the left this time. I mean, it looks like you can explore, like, lots of different things, but uh, try to stick to what's that on the floor. Relax. My mouse, I can look down. What is nice to see new faces. How can you be this chirpy today? You see, tell like, it's, like, sort of cheap 3D, because, like, the way they're stupid, making those stupid gestures with their hands, it reminds me of, like, the reviews of, like, Sonic 06 for the Xbox, where, like, you know, Sonic is making dumb things. Hey, brother, my audio sounds kind of tindly and echoey. Okay, hold on, thank you. Second. All right, how is it now? now? I think I think it was using the wrong microphone. Is it better? Is it better occulted northern one? Way, Way worse! worse. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's going on here? Hold on a second. How could it be worse? Damn it.
Hold on. Try, Try to see, see what, what the problem is. It's ten times, times worse than with the yeah. echo. Oh, so it's e got echoey, you're saying. Oh, hold on. Let's see something. I turned off the sound of the game. Oh, it's like super loud. I turned off the sound of the game. Is the mic better now? Or is the mic still bad? Just want to see what's causing the echo. Testing, testing, one, two, three. It seems like it's working, but... The mic is fine and the echo is bad. All right, hold on. I uh, turned it off completely. Mike, so hey Jennifer, how are you doing? Why am I having problems today? Hold on. It's weird. How is it now? Any better? I just made a change. I, I just changed something now. Is, is it going to be better? Much better. Okay. All right, good. All right. Let me turn this out for the, for the game back on. All right. All good now? We can hear everything? All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Quilted Northern, for telling me that because sometimes I do these streams and I'm like, there's some kind of audio issue and I, can't, I don't hear it myself, so I don't know. And nobody says anything. And then... Uh, and then it's like, I hear it afterwards, I'm like, why didn't anybody tell me the audio was broken the whole goddamn time? <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the game. So what I was saying before is, you can tell that the, 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 the 3D is sort of cheap because the way these guys are gesticulating and stuff, I mean, he's not doing it right now, but there he goes. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's walk around here. I mean, I think you can talk to these people, but I, these people are talking to each other. Can I go on the grass? Okay. Oh, look at the fountain. It's so pretty, isn't it? Like, look how beautiful this place is. I want to go to this school. I wish I was in school again. Let's talk to this girl. Press E to interact with people and objects. So why is there no speech? Like, this is a game from last year. Hi there. If you're new for the exam, go, just go straight. Oh, let's shift to run. Okay. Oh, just ran to some guy. Man, I'm pumped for the exam. All right, very cool. Very nice. All right, so I, this is probably also a waste of time. Let's let's just go actually to the exam. And also, like, I thought I got an invitation to, like, attend the, this place, so why do I have to go to the admissions exam or whatever nonsense we're talking about? Welcome to the Academy, young sir. I'm George, and I'm the owner of the cafe. One second. All right, sorry about that. So here's the cafe. Drop by any time for a chat or a snack. And speaking of snacks, do you know chocolate is great for your concentration? You can find them all around the academy, but the first one is right here. I don't suggest going to the exam before you take some. That sounds like a good plan. I'll, I like chocolate. Oh, I got a quest. Is my quest to get chocolate? I think it is. George says to take some. Right, so let's take some. Chocolate bar. If I'm lacking focus while solving puzzles, I should eat it. It sounds like exactly the opposite of what they tell me at Weight Watchers. It's like, hey, if you're bored or you, you can't concentrate, have some chocolate. That sounds like a great idea. Right, let's go to the, the Great Hall. Okay, quest update. Let's talk to this guy. Oh no, I've broken my pencil and now I can't take the exam. This is the this is the part that I did. Will you please help me? Sure, I'll help you, dude. And now it's a puzzle. Broken pencil. <laughs> Jennifer says chocolate helps my concentration, though. 
So here's the so the game is in 3D, but I guess the puzzles are just you know straight up here. And this is this is the first one. It's pretty easy. The pencil is fragmented into so many pieces, and if that was in trouble, one of the pieces from a different pencil. Can you find it? So I mean, this is the end. So this thing is to connect to like here, and that connects to there, and this connects to. Wait a second. And this connects to here, and this connects to there, and this connects to that. So this is the uh, the missing. This is the. Uh, the piece that doesn't belong. So drag the pin to here. That's what I did already. And I'm so smart. I got 10 out of 10. Woohoo. Alright. And then they ask, do you play try even harder puzzles? Select play now. So select play now. And the harder puzzle is how many pieces of tape does Tucker need to make a fully working pencil? And the answer is one, because he just doesn't, he doesn't have to use these two pieces. How thrifty of you! Really, tape to get only two ends of the pe pencil so we can write an eraser with it. So that's 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 literally all that I've played in the game. So I'm, I guess uh, the first puzzle. Thank you, thank you. Now we both can ace the test. Yeah, sure. Let's find our seats on the board. Okay. Oh, there's a sitting schedule here. The seating chart for the exam. I see this. Am I Sam? I guess. Why is there like sparkles around my chair? Is that like magic or something? Let me turn this dude around. Alright, here's number four. Isn't this fun? We're gonna take a test. <laughs> Doesn't that look like like spell casting or, or Hogwarts? I'm not sure. I right, start the exam, I guess. They're trying to purposely like, go out of their way to show a lot of 3D stuff here for no reason. Anastasia. Students, welcome to the Academy's admission exam. I am the school's headmistress, Anastasia. It's my honor to welcome you here. Blah, 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 blah. This is like a boring speech. Oh, before we start, a short clip about the principles of which the school is built. Will there be actually some audio in the clip? Maybe we'll get some audio. Oh, wait, she's going to talk about it? That's not a clip. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. What is it, like a 35 millimeter? Is this game again 2020? It's supposed to take place like in 1920? Oh my god. <laughs> Jennifer says it's almost like a secret SAT prep course. This is a game. <laughs> That's really funny. What the hell kind of like documentary is this? His love for knowledge is matched only by the love for his wife, Letitia? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, but she died. And the film grade is bad too. He devoted himself solely to science. Channeling all his efforts to building a home for those eager to learn. What a nice guy. And then he met some guy who shook his hand. And then they founded the Academy. Starfleet Academy. Oh my god, what a bad film. Hope you got a firm grasp of where you're sitting. Yeah, I'm sitting in seat four. Oh my god. Alright, finally, let's go. Was it timed? Yeah, start, I guess. Ross says, if I'm not mistaken, this there's not no audio in this game? Is there supposed to be audio? There's audio. Is it supposed to be speech or something, Ross? I mean, I don't think so. Odd math. What? Try to solve the problem with the left paper first. These blue squares are a weird operation you've never seen before. If you can figure out what it does, you should be able to find the value of x. Oh, I know what this, how this works. So this is 9 plus 3 is, tw is 12, and 9 minus 3 is 6. 5 plus 4 is 9, 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, 7 minus 7 is 0, so it should be 140. 10 out of 10. Yes, I figured it out. Let's get the bonus question, sure. Let's take the second paper now. There's more unusual math for you to solve. Puzzles are no match for students. <laughs> Thank you, Quilted Northern. 
Um, what's this one here, though? This is this is different. Uh, okay, I think I figured it out. Well, I thought I figured it out. I'm not sure now. Hold on. Equals four. Okay, Ross says we have to read everything. It's so sad of the game. Yeah, I don't get that. Considering the fact that this game came out like last year. Yeah, other than the melody, it's that's that's. I mean, that why couldn't they invest a little money and like get some voice actors instead of making stupid like great you know thirty five millimeter films? All right, uh, let's see. Hmm. to think here it's gonna be like a bunch of different stuff but obviously it has to be like a rule that works for all of these chat feel free to help me out here hey jeremy how's it going i was saying chat feel free to help me out i'm not proud if you if i if you somebody else solves this that's fine with me see th this is why quilter northern i picked this game because this is like the type of thing i think you like with uh there's just like standalone puzzles you know this puzzle is not so easy and this is like a help thing. Oh, I can also eat. If I, could, I guess I could eat chocolate also if I want to. I get. Well, I have one piece of chocolate, so if I really feel stuck, I could eat that one piece of chocolate that I have. Um. Seven oh nine equals two. I have no idea right now. Definitely like standalone puzzles, Quilt to Northern said, but math is not my strong point. Alright, I'm gonna see Crystal to see that if I hit the question mark. Oh I have I have ten hints left. Let's use a hint. This problem doesn't require math at all. The key is something visual in the numbers. Something visual in the numbers? Okay. Should I take? Should, does that help anybody, or should I take another hint? Circles. Oh. You think so? That's that's really smart. They're circling it too here. How do I how do I actually like change my number though? Did it break? Why is this zero? Wait a second, what happened here? Oh, okay, that's how it goes. So the answer would be two? Both of you got it at the same time, it's the circles? Like two freaking geniuses here. Uh, Alright, let's see. And I guess that's right. Number of enclosed spaces in each digit. I'll tell you, I wouldn't have gotten that, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I ne never would have gotten that. So I'm glad we have very smart people that uh, watch this this channel. <laughs> that was the whole test? Wow, that's like, you know, really great test. What did I do wrong? Why am I not at the top of the list? Is it because I used a hint? Or maybe that was just a representative sample of the test. Why am I at the bottom if I got the answers right? I don't understand this. Professor Jonathan. I. Was he like Scottish? I, second year students, will guide you through the academy today. Each of you will get a mentor for the day. I don't know. Get to know these walls. Blah, 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 blah. Class start tomorrow, students. You'll learn how to do math problems. Sam, Sam, I'm Amy, I'll be your mentor for the day, oh, just for one day. Oh, the, the hint was critical? Well, the hint, 
I mean, help, but... Okay, I took the admission. You're ready to start the tour. I guess. Like, what am I supposed to do? That's what I like to hear. You're gonna need a map. Take this one. A map of the school. She looks too, like, way too eager. Map of the school. Let's start with the tour. Alright. Over the Great Hall, the West Wing. Let's go to the atrium. What's an atrium? Isn't that like an antechamber? Okay, I gotta walk there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll talk to Amy instead. Hello! That's the atrium, Sam! Lead the way! Okay, don't, uh... Let's go. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like this game is like... The puzzles are not easy. <laughs> What's the deal? What are those two people doing? She's like dancing over there? They were like, they're like boogieing down? What the hell is that? The atrium, the central hub of the academy. There's some classrooms here and of course the library. It's over there now. And where? Just to go where that... Is that like... Is that my marker? Oh yeah, okay, that blue thing is where I'm supposed to go. How did she get all the way over there? Why is there a crypt in this university? Backyard, nature, sports, and crypt. I hope it's like cryptology lab and not like a, like a, like a cemetery. And how did she get so far ahead of me? Like, great mentor you are. Like, why don't you wait for me at least? Is that a bust of her over there, by the way? With the same model. Alright, we have a library. It's better the library than Nancy Drew game. This totally feels like a Harry Potter game. <laughs> yeah, it's... They said it's supposed to be like uh, Professor Layton meets Harry Potter. Oh no! I dropped all my books on the floor! Sandy is in trouble! She's a bit of a klutz. Let's see if I can help her. Okay. I'm going. I'm following you. Oh, uh, uh, yes? Can I help you? Or you just, just stood over there for some reason? Oh, you just kind of looked at you. Okay, interesting. Have you a mentee, Sam? How would I meet? How would she meet me? Just walked to the freaking door of this place. What's happened over here? Oh, I dropped my books. And I don't know where the shelf the books go anymore. Help Sandy figure out where the order is the books on the shelves based on Scott knows what. Clumsy Sandy. What if Sandy's books fell open? Can you take a glance and figure out what it's about? I mean, how do I take a glance? I can't zoom in on it, can I? What's the guess based on the other books? Because it's red? I guess because it's red. So these two both have music, so it must be a music book. Speaking of the upcoming open world Harry Potter game, looks interesting. I didn't even hear about that. All right, let's try the hard puzzle. That's where I got, that's where I got messed up last time. Which one of these books has Sandy been reading? One of the ones with the bookmarks, maybe. The ones with with the, with the, with the pizza. It's probably this one because there's all sorts of crap over it. <laughs> but actually, maybe this one's sort of dirty too. Uh. Maybe she's reading this one because it's open. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, though. Uh, anybody have any other guesses of which one she's been reading? Oh, these are interesting types of puzzles. The side sold with the bookmark. This one here, why is that? Why is that Quilted Northern? The bookmark is in the middle of the pages. I, th th that's probably right. I thought the bookmark in, in all these were in the middle of the pages. It's just like I thought that this was just earlier in the book. But I guess you're right, and it's probably supposed to be just in the middle. And I didn't think I didn't, I'm too smart for this game or too stupid. I'm not sure which one. Of course, Jennifer also figured it out. Jeremy says it's called Hogwarts Legacy. It's kind of a PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Oh, cool. Oh uh, well, you guys are right. See, I, I actually did see that. I just didn't know what it meant. Whatever. It's good I have some more people to help me out. Every day I'll hide one book at a random location of the school. Why? 
Okay, if you say so. First, let's hit it upstairs to the museum, try and find it. Is she just doing that just for me? Okay. She's running in the library for some reason. Well, I'm not gonna run, I'll take my time. <laughs> the librarian is, hey Scott, how you doing? The librarian is hiding books all over the school, but not a very good librarian. Yeah, I agree. Like, what the heck's wrong with the librarian? Where'd she go? She's like all the way down there. I wasn't gonna run, but this thing is place is huge. Follow the upstairs museum. I just did, didn't I? You're supposed to go in here. Oh, Sepitentia potentia est. Is it some Latin. Sapientia. Knowledge is power. Okay. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Wait, don't show me my dormitory. I want to find the hidden book. Oh, come once you're ready. Okay. Let's find the hidden book in the museum. Maybe she hid it inside this H. Why is there an H there? It's probably like here somewhere, right? Inside this castle? How do I... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's just sitting on the chair. That's like a really, really tough... She hit that really well. Should I solve it now? Or... Yeah, solve it now. Of course, we got Quilted Northern and we have Jennifer Caro here, so let's solve it now. Pied Piper of Hamelin. The type of rat living in Hamelin gives birth once a month to a litter of seven, ten baby rats. Each baby rat is fully mature one month after birth. Oh my god. Uh, it's no wonder Hamelin had a rat problem. The Pied Piper played his pipe with uh, another math problem. Let the rats far, far away. At last, one rat remained in Hamelin because it was just bored and couldn't follow. How many rats will be in Hamelin after five months? Freaking one, because there's only one of them, right? They can't. The one can't give birth by itself. I say one. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was just bored. It can't be pregnant. Alright. <laughs> hey, Brian76, how you doing? Correct, this question trying to trick you. One rat simply cannot multiply on its own. Alright. The hard question might be uh, some math, though. Oh, I got some barren something piece. I don't know what that means. The Piper song is very special. It can memorize, mesmerize anybody. The very last note is missing from this sheet. Can you figure out which one? I must have figured that out. Walking mechanics look odd, Jeremy. What's what's odd about them? So it says E E C D. Some kind of pattern. E E C D. C C B E A. I don't know. F is not even like one of the choice. Like, there's nothing on the scale for F. But it gives me a choice for F. Um. You can mesmerize anyone. I think maybe it spells like a word or something, but I don't think that's the case. It's probably a pattern. But I don't know what the pattern is. Anybody know? Brian says, can you do a new review? Yes, I can do a new review. Um, well, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of random game on shrinkings coming up, and then I'll do a new review after that. I have, like, a whole ton of games that I started filming, uh, opening up, so that's what I'm working on right now, aside from the live streams. But yes, I, I plan to do some new reviews also, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little lax with that. I mean, I definitely will do it. But first I have to solve this problem. That's the most pressing matter right now. Jeremy says, I don't know, it looks like he's just gliding across the floor and flinging his arms and legs. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Uh, but I don't think they spent a lot of money on the 3D in this game. What's the deal here? Okay, I'm going to take a hint. Um, folks, should I take a hint here? What do you say? It's not jumping out at me, that's for sure. I don't see, like, a pattern. 
like a per like appearing I can certainly guess but uh, it seems like not fun hint no hint Jennifer quilted my guess is D but that's truly only a guess based on musical knowledge do you have any musical knowledge Colton Northern Brian says yes do a hint okay cold northern agrees there's something you have to notice here perhaps counting could help oh is it like the number of notes of each kind no that's not it so there's only one of these A's. Oh, two B's, three C's. I see. So it is D, by the way. <laughs> but not for the reason you thought, I don't think. It's like a pretty random answer. You see, the order of the notes is not important. All right, whatever. And I got a Baron's Diary piece. I don't know what that is. You studied music for 20 years. Well, that's pretty cool. Thanks that I knew it. Okay. So you got the book. Now let's get out of here. Where did she go? Oh, she's at the atrium. She's, like, she's standing right there. Hello. Follow me to the boys' dormitory. All right. Let's do, let's do that. Sounds good to me. Are you allowed in the boys' dormitory? I don't know, like, in most of these private schools, if they're separate dormitories, I don't know if, like, the, she's lying in the boys' dormitory. Unless we're gonna sneak in, and that's, that's, that's cool with me. We can do that. Aw, oh, man. No girls lie in the boys' dormitory. Interestingly, it also worked out as D according to music theory. I guess it makes sense. Thanks, you're such a terrible mentor. You, that's a tour of the library, the museum, and then the boys' dormitory that you can't go into? How is that, like, you suck. Your room is BO2 and your luggage waiting for you there. Unpack and get some rest, okay. You're a smart kid, that's why you came last in the test. Oh, so she's my mentee going forward, too? I thought you just, I thought you just my mentor for today, you said. Okay, I appeared, I went through the door, apparently. Harry Potter is waiting in the door with Charlie and Leviosa. That's funny. Always nice to see new faces. Uh, so what, wait, is that, are there girls in here? Wait a second. Uh, I told you, right, this is the boys' dormitory. No girls allowed. Relax, Willie, I'm just sightseeing. Hey, that's fine with me. Can I sightsee in the girls' dormitory? No, you're not. I saw you writing something down just now. Where's my diary? Hi there, Sam, I right? Sorry to bring you into this. Tell us you can't be here, we're gonna get in trouble. I'm not telling you that. You freaking loser. Enough with the school. What a loser. I'll work on my article elsewhere. Why was the article like highlighted? Nice meeting you, Sam. So their attitude. What's with your attitude, buddy? I'm a BO3. I guess we got individual rooms too. When I was in college, they made us room with other people. Like, I didn't get my own room. Thanks for being cool back there. What a loser. I'm, you're, you're not cool. And you, look, you don't look cool either, by the way. I'm sorry <laughs> to tell you that. So, I don't want to be your friend. You bug off. What's this on the floor? So we left their credit card? Or that's just a piece of garbage. I have like a mailbox here too. <laughs> Colton Norton said this Dom kid sounds like a real buzzkill. Hey Chris, how you doing? <laughs> I, yeah, what a loser that person was. Seriously. Alright, how do we get in here? Uh, I guess enter. Why not? Is this another... Oh, it's like, a, it's like a, an overweight, slightly overweight kid. They always have, like, somebody like that. A roommate's talking about fate. Ugh, you mixed up our luggage? Jerk. I guess I have no choice. My luggage. I want to untangle it. Unpacking. What is this, like, Tetris? Unpacking is a great way to practice your puzzle skills. You can yourself the room to only move items in a certain way. You can only pull items upward one by one. You cannot move an item if it would drag another item with it. Is this Bully the prequel? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is Loser Loser the prequel. Turns out just one of these suitcases can be fully unpacked with this rule set. What? Oh, upward, like upward like this. I think 
I think you'd be like upward like this, right? Well, why would you pull something upward into the top of the case? That doesn't make any sense. All right, uh, this one seems like it could be unpacked. This one can't because these two like interlock with each other, and this one can't because this whole thing is wrapped around itself, and this one here. Uh, also, is this interlocking problems? I guess it's this one. It's very high. It's the Lord's list. <laughs> I, you know, I don't think I heard the expression except for from you, Chris. Top right, Jennifer says. Agreed. I'll try the bonus question. Your suitcase was labeled as FUT. Why? Which one of these is yours? FUT? When do you screw it? Are you soul from Ernest? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I knew somebody in that group was one that said that. I uh, top left. Said, oh, it says F U T. Oh, it's probably right. Okay, I like that. Yay, Quilted Northern. Some items that suitcase resemble the letters F, U, and T. And Jennifer got it too. It was slightly later than Quilted Northern did. You did a roll unpack. Now you can beat me up. My side of the room. What does he have? Paint there on the shelf? And your side. Oh, and I'm like a scholar. I have like books. We should get ready for bed. Look, it's getting dark. Are we gonna like uh, get it on now? Bow chicka bow bow. I'm gonna take a bath, relax for tomorrow, then head to bed. Where are you doing that? There's a bathtub in this dorm. <laughs> Have anybody ever been to a dorm where they had a bathtub? Like I don't. I mean, I don't know. I haven't at least not for uh, not, sure not for a male male dorm. And even for a mixed dorm, I don't ever saw a bathtub. Is there a puzzle for sleeping too? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Rule board? What's rule board? First year's students are. Let's do uh, oh, let's do later. How do you do later? Later. I don't care. I'm gonna follow the rules. My bed. All right. So let's go to sleep. Go to sleep. Should I go to sleep or should I? Like, let's see. Let's see how we go outside the room. See if there's anything to do. But like, I like being led around by the nose. Honestly, I don't. Oh, I should unpack and get some rest. All right, fine. I don't sleep at the college door. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah, well, I don't... This is... There was, you missed it, Chris. Like, right before you joined, there was a girl in the dorm, and the stupid jackass, like, told her to leave. He said, this is the boys' dorm. Get out. And I was like, what the hell? What's this? <gasps> Somebody's jogging. They're still jogging. Oh, my God. <gasps> Someone's jogging. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that was so scary. And now they're turning into a werewolf. Cause... What was that? The I guess the moon and the sun were both there at the same time. Warning, roommate, I'm still my way out. Machines in history, how exciting. He the corn wants to meet me. Him, a popular kid wants to meet me. He probably wants to beat the crap out of you. See you out there. Thanks for everything yesterday. It tells me a great year. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's welcome to prison. Because I'm studying, Chris? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so I, I slept. That was that was a wonderful night's sleep. What, what kind of a crappy bed is this, by the way? This looks like a shelf. Like, this is a bed they give you? Like, this this dude here... Well, I guess he's the same crappy bed. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fit on that bed. I would, like... If I was in this bed, I would be so miserable. I'd sleep on the floor, probably. All right, now what? I like the way they lead you by the nose to your next quest. I don't want to investigate, explore. I just want to go to the next puzzle. Oh, this stupid guy. This is the loser that told the girl to leave, uh, Chris. It doesn't look like a, like a dumbass also. Sorry. I got a crack taste puzzle in the armor deal waiting for you. It's out of my league, but I'm sure it's out of, out of uh, Jennifer's league or Colton Northern's league. Find a new puzzle in one of those blue boxes around the school. Let's get to 
class. No, let's let me. I think a puzzle. You can't like tell tell me that and then. Uh, I want a puzzle. Oh, I don't. I don't care about that. Stop that. Rule board. Arbor Daily. Looks like a egg. <laughs> Corn looks like an Arabian Tucker as well as the donuts. That's funny. Uh, the Academy's in session. Distinguished history professor missing. This sounds like spell casting. Okay. Place the numbers in the empty fields with the following rules. There's only two numbers? No two identical numbers. There's only one blank. No two identical numbers in the same column or row. A field is illuminated by a candle in its row or column. What? What does this mean? A field is illuminated by a candle in its row or column. There's no higher number field between them. Each candle field indicates exactly how many fields must not be illuminated. What the hell does that mean? Oh wait, I can... Wait a second. That's it? Literally I can only place one number here? What's the difference? Oh, I can click somewhere else too. Okay. Alright. Okay, I see how this works now. <laughs> At least I can see how the, how, the, how the sort of works. I can click wherever I want to put a number here. Um, how would not be illuminated? So two must not be illuminated. So I'll put like, I'll put, let me hold on. I put a two here, and I put a two here, and then here I put a one, and here I'll put a one. Now that both these flames are out because there's two, there's two things that are not lit up. I think that's what they meant, right? Although it's not done, it looks like. Just put whatever crap I want in the rest of the fields. How do I submit? How do I submit the puzzle? Uh, Brian, you have to go? Alright, well, you can watch the rest of it. We'll, we'll continue a different time. And thanks, Chris. Enjoy your dinner. That can reminds you of Jeremy who says of Draco Malfoy if he was beaten by an ugly stick and lost several brain cells and drinking himself into stupidity. Uh, what must it do here? I did what you told me. I placed the numbers in the empty fields. Is that it? Like, do I not... Maybe this is not, like, a puzzle that I get credit for? I don't really understand. All right, the hell with it. I think I did that. I guess the Arbor Daily is a waste of time. Missing person? Look at this dude. Oh, that's the professor that's disappeared. That disappeared. Okay. Dom, go away. Okay, we're going down. This is like a, hu a huge building, by the way. This huge, huge, huge academy. They have like five students. That's Chief Logan, Chief RPD. This guy's a loser. I don't be late for class. Lady Helena Barley. Ah, whatever. I don't care about Lady Hel Helena Barley. He, he does walk sort of funny. I see what you're talking about, Jeremy. He's like sort of like this, like... Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know why he's walking like that. Oh, restrooms. It's <laughs> it's Stu. <laughs> it's not Stu. I don't look anything like that. Hey, look, you there, kids. Where were you last night? Between 3 and 4 a.m. I was in my room. So I broke to the school at night. You ask a lot of questions, I'll keep an eye on you. Haha, <laughs> loser. We can help me eliminate some suspects. All right, police officer, you're obviously dumb, so fine, I will help you. Hey, Matt, how's it going, swag walk? <laughs> wow, these guys, look, they all look guilty. Look at these hoodies. I'm just kidding. Our witness was too late to the scene to see much. All I could see is he saw a man running fast. Pablo knew he could now eliminate one suspect. Who would you eliminate? Not really for the soundtrack to this game, yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, well, you can eliminate the one suspect because he saw a man running fast. 
Well, they all seem like men. I mean, somebody what, people can't run. Trevor says skateboard. I mean, he could have been holding the skateboard though. Why the third guy? Shoes are at least. That, that's actually interesting. I like that. I think Matt. I I think Matt is a good reason. They actually Quilted Northern. What's your rationale for number two? Is it also because the skateboard? <laughs> and Officer Logan is asking a student to solve a case for him. He's a moron. But he, that's why I said we have to help him because he's really dumb. Quilted Northern. What do you say? Skateboard as well, but I also looked at the shoes. I'm going to go with number three. I feel like this would stop him from running, and, and he could be holding the skateboard. So I'm going to go with number three. Oh, no, I got it wrong. I guess it was number two, maybe. See, I, I, I don't really, I don't agree with the logic here. I, I mean, I, what I should agree with is that, like, I need to listen to Jennifer and Quilted Northern. That's that's the moral of the story. But I, I would, I maybe picked up the skateboard like afterwards, or maybe like he was holding the skateboard. I guess to use it to escape. All right, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, all right. Our witness came to see and heard a loud noise. It happened during the change of the guard at 9 p.m. With this information. Pablo could eliminate another suspect. Do you know which one? Never doubt Quilter Northern. She knows my house too. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I actually do know it to be honest. Uh, Pablo could eliminate another suspect. Do I know which one? Because he heard a loud noise during the changing of the guard at 9 p.m. Well, you're already eliminated number two, so it's... Those look like all the same guy, by the way. Because one of them's tall, and... Why four? Why four, Jennifer? I have no idea. Two of them have watches. Well, we already eliminated number two, so if it's because of the watch, then we eliminated number two already. But why do you, what does the watch have to do with anything? One of them has a phone. I know this should listen thing firsthand. All my outdoors don't tie sneakers these days. Yeah, I think... See, Matt, I agree with you, honestly. That's why I picked it, because I think you're right. Really, he would never be able to roll with those shoes on like that. <laughs> um... Change of the guards may refer to time. Yeah, but this is the witness came to the sea after he heard a loud noise. It's like the guy made a loud noise somehow. It happened during the change of guard at 9 p.m. I don't see how you can eliminate somebody. I mean, that's why the main character looks like a drunk and swat his shoelace her in time. Um, I could pick number four if you want. I don't have anything better to do. Yeah, Matt, this is like a. It's like, like I said before, it's like Professor Layton meets. Um, Harry Potter. There's only. This guy's the only guy that has, like, no pants on. And also he's a tattoo. Alright, let's, let's get a hint. Let's get a hint. Alright, so Jennifer's right. Uh, uh, Jennifer's right, obviously. So, wait. So it has to be number three, actually. So you, you were basically right. Because he's the only guy that doesn't have, like... This guy has a phone, this guy has a watch, this guy has nothing. So it has to be number three, pretty much. Yeah, I I think this this like logic is very questionable. Oh, puzzle agent, that's a good game. <laughs> I'm just going to hell because of untied shoes. <laughs> of course, that must be him. I still can't see his face. 
how do you find the picture of him? Is it the, the security footage? It doesn't even make any sense. Whoa! Is that a bear? You don't just stand there going like, Oh, is that a bear? Oh, there's a bear running at you. Get the hell out of the way. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I just like, uh, didn't listen to myself here. I should have stood there. You know what? I made a mistake. I should have stood there and see what happened. Puzzle Age without the quirky animation and sense of humor. Spit it out. There's a bear. I think he was wearing like a like a hat or something. Yeah, I'm mad. I, I I made a mistake. And by the way, if it was you, you could have legitimately attacked the bear head on. Like, if anybody's actually like met mad in person, like he could he can wrestle the bear. I'm pretty sure. And the cop went in. There's no bear now. These kids will hear me. <laughs> the officer does through. I feel bad. I, f I should have stayed there and faced down the bear. I really, honestly... Even if it's a game over, you lose, and that's the end of the game, I think that would have been worth it, actually. Is there an option for me to say, what are you talking about? There was no bear. Because <laughs> I would certainly do that. Alright, whatever. Get your ass inside there. Oh, where am I going now? I get in the door. Here we go. There's a whole bunch of people walking around. I saw the bear too. Where are you going? Our history class is over here. Bye. Let's try to enter the class. Enter review textbook or leave. <laughs> I'm sick. He's blonde haired brother. That's funny. So you're not blonde haired, are you? Uh, I really don't want to review. What this crap? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I really hope I don't have to re re refer to that at any time during the game. Yeah, I guess I'll enter. Looks like the class already started. Surprise cast was canceled. Professor Wilson is missing. He's actually on the Baron. We have a class about the Baron? Who the hell cares? This is a school to learn about the founder of the school? Alright, blah, blah, blah. I just arrived already asking when I will leave. Who cares? Oh my god. Oh, I'm supposed to review the textbook? The left one. How do I click on it? Oh, that's how you do it. All right. My time is like running out there. Matt, we're gonna ignore your pro tip. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> uh. Let's do at least one assignment today. Founding of Arbor. Arbor Academy wasn't built east of Foggy Swamp. It was built south of Arborea and east of Mikarinos. If you need to do switch of... Alright, well, south of Arborea and east of Mikarinos. And it wasn't east of Foggy Swamp, so... Well... It's, it's one of these two, right? I guess this one. Okay. Let's do the bonus question. Baron Summer Castle was built in a city that belongs to a size 3 county and two size 4 counties. What the hell does that mean? Is that for my, home, my like, homework that I didn't read? Probably. No, okay. Size 3 county? What the hell? What's this, by the way? I can write on this if I want to. Uh, 
I exited. You're catching up fast. Good work. Read chapter two. Seriously, I gotta read this bullcrap? I mean, for spellcasting, I had to read, but it was like a little bit, it was funny at least. I'm gonna, wait, wait a second. Where's my, here, books. Map, books, history. How was I supposed to know about the size, whatever the hell we were talking about? I guess I should have gotten a hint. It's not in the history book. Oh well. I somehow skipped it. Can you share them before I start chowing down on my spicy sausage? I mean, after. Uh, Scott, you're very confusing right now. I don't think anybody wants to chow down on your spicy sausage. I don't think anybody here wants to do that. What didn't happen? Your life? What, what are you talking about? Machines. Oh, I should have read the textbook for this one. I didn't. Sex professor, he's kind of my dad. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> well, he is. Alright, blah, blah, blah. Johnny. I guess his mother's, his mother's a redhead. I'm Professor John... Nothing. Please call me Johnny. That's like the longest freaking Jonathan spell I've ever seen. Machines. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do the Simon. So I guess, just, so we've been playing this for almost an hour. So far, my opinion of this game is, it feels like the story is extremely boring, like so far at least. Like, it's, they, they tr it's trying to be interesting, but it's really not. And the puzzles are fun, though. I, like, I enjoy the puzzles. I don't think I'm about to solve them by myself. Um, your onklog. <laughs> I think look at this blueprint with various... What do you guys think? I think look at this blueprint with various motor pipes. A pipe fragment is drawing a small square. Which two pipes could you connect to it? Like, E and F, maybe? That's not a choice, though. Uh, a and B? I think A and B would work. Yeah? Maybe? I think A and B. I'm going to pick A and B. Yay! Okay. The puzzles are far too frequent, but I think that's the point of the game. I mean, I, I see you're saying no ability to explore, but I can explore. I just don't want to explore. I sort of want to just do the puzzles. Which what's the serial number of this motor series? Here's a harder question with only the best of you will solve. So that's that basically that means either Jennifer or Quilted Northern is going to figure this out. What is the serial number of this motor series? How are we supposed to know that? Where are there even motors? I just see pipes. What's the serial number? Uh, I have no freaking clue what they're talking about. But I won't. I won't take a hint until somebody tell until. I get, until I get some feedback, at least from the two geniuses on the chat right now. And I think there are a lot of smart people here, by the way, but it uh, seems like there's two geniuses. <laughs> uh, 12, A equals 1, B equals 2. And maths is the same thing. I mean, that seems very random to me, but okay, try it. Nope, that's wrong. Good guess. I'll take. Let's try a hint. You're looking for something that cannot be seen right away. Oh, interesting. Oh, is it four? Does it make a four or something? 
I think it does. Let's try four. I'm usually smart, but I fell asleep watching Sci-Fi. You, you are smart. I'm just I'm just messing around with you guys. Anybody that's in this that's watching this stream is gonna be smart by default. The stupid people are watching like, you know, among us. <laughs> Don't forget to read your dumb books. Logan and Pablo are on it in the West Hallway. I like Maya. She's the girl that was like in the boys' dorm. You can come into my room if you want, Maya. Don't take Sam out of the expulsion room with you. I'm waiting in the front of the West Hallway. Alright. I'll be staying in the library and advise you the same. Okay. Where's the West Hallway? Is it, is it where... Is it gonna be where... I hope this thing is taking me there. Hey, get out of my way! Hey! Hey! Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could, like, get in his way, but the they walked around me. It's more of a puzzle game. They threw the school the storyline to make it more interesting, but they failed to make it more interesting. I think you're absolutely right. Um, and I and I wouldn't mind just being a puzzle game. Why are you so popular being fought over by the reporter in the dork? <laughs> the reporter, she reminds you a little bit of that, the, like, Lovejoy, whatever her name was. Luda Lovegood or Love... Lovegood, Lovejoy, Lovegood. Lo Lovejoy was the, was the guy from The Simpsons. Love, Luda Love Good, right? Where are you running to? Hey, come back! Yeah, this guy's pretty dorky. The cop is here. Oh, wow. What are you kids doing here? Pablo's security guard, Logan's the cop, I guess. We didn't do anything. You're lucky our suspect was wearing a black hood with a symbol. Since you're not wearing a black hood, it can't be you. Even though it was last night. Stupid cops. What the puzzle me is that cupcake? Why didn't you like eat the cupcake? Well, oh, that's mine for later. Maze 2 can help us with the evidence we found. <laughs> sure, we can help. What do you reckon about these tracks? Uh... What are you doing here? <laughs> this is a school. Uh, <laughs> which track you think you're replacing? It's some kind of dumb math thing. How quickly they go from suspects to detectives? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, all right, so it looks like deer is like a deer, a deer or something. Deer plus deer equals bear. I don't, I don't know what, what kind of animals. Oh, it says here. Okay. Yeah, deer plus deer equals wolf. Wolf plus wolf equals peacock plus bear. <laughs> uh, okay. And then bear minus deer. I feel like I need to write this down. I don't want to. Uh, if deer plus bear is equal to peacock plus wolf. This is freaking confusing. Hold on a second. I gotta think about this. Sherlock, this looks more like an emu. If anybody knows the answer to this and wants to solve it before me, I'm fine with that. I, I know I can do this, but it's just gonna, it may take me some time. And it's just annoying. Uh, let me think about this. Well, which one could replace it is the question. 
It can't be the deer unless these two guys are the same, which I don't think they are. Because if, if, if these two are the same, then they don't, all these would have to be the same. Which they, which they can't be. The bear thing has to be a little bit more than these two. It's the duck foot, which is oh, you mean the the the, the peacock? Oh, I'm calling the peacock. Let's just try that. I'm I'm fine with just trying it. I'll I'll trust Jeremy. Ah, he's right. All you do is replace each track with the number of toes it has. Oh, well, that makes it a little easier. All right, let's try the bonus question, which will be even harder. Let's put math aside for now. If you observe the tracks in this photo, you might notice exactly what is missing. What type of track would you add? I guess I would add the, the one that only has three feet, which would be the bear. That was an easy one. Don't quote me on this, you're one of my cool what if I cool door. You got it right, Jeremy. Good job. Alright, cool. Bear tracks? Are you mocking us? What are you even talking about? I don't even know what that probably do to anything. Alright, it was oh, because it was we said we saw a bear, and now there's actually bear tracks, I guess. That's what they're saying. Looks like gamers crowd right, nothing for that one. All right, so now where am I going? Back this way. I'll try not to run, not to make anybody ill. Okay, I'm going up the steps here now. I'm going to the atrium. Atrium. Oh man, it's a bear again. He's chasing that ginger kid. <laughs> he doesn't like him, apparently. What's that? <gasps> it's somebody doing some spell or something. It must be the guy who broke in. <laughs> How are you going to help him? Okay, how about I go upstairs? Are there stairs anywhere? Alright, who thinks I should run into the bear? Who who votes I should run into the bear and see, and see if the bear eats me? And who votes for trying to actually solve the problem? <laughs> Jack Grace Draco do the main of silence. I'm really tempted to go... Alright, let's, really, let's see what happens. Hey there, buddy! Careful, Sam. Don't get that close to the bear. I guess they just don't let you do it. Oh, that sucks. All right. Where's the... Where's the... How do I get up there? I need to, like, give me, like... Oh, there's stairs over there. Okay. <laughs> bear hug. <laughs> yeah. I like bear hugs, but uh, not from an actual bear. I like giving bear hugs better than I like receiving bear hugs. Like, hey you! There's unlicensed spell casting inside a public university! Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's still there. Wait a second. Where'd that guy go? <gasps> it just looks like a broken something or other. Let's try completing it. You complete me, Maya. Mysterious object. Oh, actually, you can use the mouse this time. Uh, does that go here? Like, there we go. It's nice that it twists into the right shape for you. Right, right orientation. It's way too picky on, like, where you put it. I mean, it has to go here, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, now I get more pieces? 
you know, it's, it's twisting to the right orientation that makes it like a much much easier obviously but it's like picky about placement get the crazy glue quickly I mean how is this going to stay together like it's not going to it's going to fall apart alright yay <gasps> it's a magic something Oh no, Dom, look! Why's that, Dom? I'm done, eat me. <laughs> okay. You're pretty lucky, Dom. Take it, Sam, alright? This is like supposed to be like Ron and Hermione. Is that redhead guy supposed to be Ron and this is supposed to be Hermione? Is that the idea? It's Voldemort the bear. And K. Or she's supposed to be Luna Lovegood, we said already, right? I don't know. This definitely seems like he's supposed to be Ron. He even has like freaking red hair. Blah, blah, blah. So sort of projection. Be the library. Let's disperse and keep quiet. Like, why? See, that's what I never got about Harry Potter. Like, all this stuff happens to them, and it's like, we can't tell Dumbledore because make up some stupid reason why not. Like, why not? Like, get help. Like, why do you have to do everything yourself all the time? It's really stupid. Up the stairs now. West Wing Dormitory. Men only. Why am I going here? Did you say maybe the library? I guess I don't want to go meet her there. I want to go to the dormitory instead. It's supposed to be Ron, hence the name Dom. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's really stupid. Ron and Dom? So, but she's Maya. Who's she supposed to be? Hermione? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why is he going to bed now? It's the middle of the day. Want to sleep? Why are you going to sleep? I mean, like, all right. You want to go to sleep? Fine. You want some warm milk, too? Hermione. His name is Sam, right? What's his name? Sam? I have Sam referred to Harry. Why did I go to sleep? I don't even know. Tucker. That's so weird with the names. Alright, you let me go somewhere else now? Now that's dark? She'll be like, oh, thanks for meeting me in the dormitory. So guys, what what do you think? What, what do others think of this game? I think Jeremy gave his opinion. Yeah, it's, is it dark now? It looks like it's dark, right? I'm like out at night doing something. Oh, it's just foggy, they said. I'm going to class now? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know. Oh my god, seriously? I'm going to class? I'm not sure I went into the class, but I'll do it anyway. Oh my god. Cornelius. I like all the puzzles Colton Northern says, but the story is super weak. Yeah, I agree. But the puzzles are good. Tell the class about the Baron. It's like a short quiz. I don't know, I didn't pay attention. Luckily, I figured out the interface fast enough to answer the question. I should have skimmed it. No, he wasn't. He was a putz. Like, seriously, in what college would they ever have a class about the history of the founder of the college? <sighs> Family tree, okay. 
Now, how much you know about the Baron Geronos, but Aisha is what we know a few things about. I can tell you he had no children, so he left his estate to his brother. And you find an Aisha on the family tree. I don't know, it's one of these people. Uh, it could... Are these, like, supposed to be married couples? Feels like an early DS game. And I think it is trying to be an early DS game. It's like it's supposed to be a take on uh, Professor Layton. Is this a couple or is this like... Uh, no, because a couple is like this? I don't even know. Uh, he had no children, so that was a state to his brother. So he's somebody who has a brother. I, I, I mean, is this supposed to be like... I guess these dumb hats are, are supposed to be women, and, and if you know hat, you're a man. Is that is that the, the legend here? I think so. Uh, but this, what does this mean? This two guys married each other. I don't understand this this format. Does anybody understand this? <laughs> I, I don't get it. Well, this is a marriage. I guess a marriage is when... Yeah, so these two guys... Is this two guys? That's pretty progressive. I, I don't understand what's... going on here. Oh, so we know Aishas is a guy. They call him he. And he has a brother. And it's not even these people that have their names there. There has to be someone who actually has a brother. I'm very, very, very confused. Does anybody understand what's going on with this? <laughs> was Holloway who conceived his entire family was gay? Maybe they adopted. I don't know. Who's, which one's, who's Holloway? Uh, is Holloway... The Baron is here, right? So, his, I mean, his parents were Elgard and Eudoria, apparently. Or Letitia's his wife, though. I thought this was like his sister. This is so confusing. If these were his parents, wasn't Letitia his wife? They said that like a hundred times. So why is it that the kids just coming out of him, and not coming out of them together? This diagram sucks. And why do we have here like five people giving birth to like? <laughs> what the hell is this? Is this upside down? Does it start from the top? Oh, this is like an upside down thing, right? Maybe? These are the leaves, so like it goes from the bottom up. I'm thinking like it goes from the top down. Alright, it makes more sense now, if I, think, if I look at it that way. Wow. Okay. So, it must be this dude here, then. That's why I was just checking upside down. How'd you check? Very confusing. Alright, bonus question. It's very unfortunate one of Baron's relatives got a divorce shortly after this family tree was painted. Can you figure out who got divorced? Oh, I turned my laptop upside down. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> um, I figure out who got divorced. Uh, how would we know who got divorced? It's after the family tree was painted, so it can't be like any of these people. It must be this one. Uh, I don't know. Does anybody have any idea? But what could dip in this one here? Oh, because he's a sister. I entered hard to a 65-inch LCD. Guy entered Boston? This is Baron. The Baron's father? Why would you think that? Why would you th Or you mean the guy up here, Elgard? You... 
Eudoria, Elgard. It's after the film that she was painted also, so it's like, based on information we don't have, because it's not in the tree, because it was after it was painted, figure out who got divorced. Is it based on one of these names, Elgard or Eudoria? Eudor Eudoria? Is that what it says? Elgard? I don't know. I'm going to look at a hint. I only have six hints left. I need to... Oh. That's sort of stupid. I guess this one here? Because they're not looking at each other? But that's so freaking dumb. Well, they wouldn't put that in the family tree. And also, what do you mean one of the Baron Drelders got divorced? It's like two of them. Doesn't make any sense to me. All right, let's just pick. Gorp, Gorp painted the village. You must have noticed these two don't like each other. That's, that's why I was stretch, but okay. It's like not completely unreasonable. Good work. Don't forget not to read chapter three for homework. All right, I'm gonna probably play for like ten more minutes or so, and then I'll I'll stop. But I wanted, I'm curious what you guys think. If we should... If I should bother to continue streaming this game. You know, like on, on next, you know, another stream. Or if I should just give, forget about it. And we, we got the idea. And like, we're not so interested in seeing the rest. I'm curious what, people, what people's votes are on that. Wow, it is really foggy out. Symbols? How come I didn't meet that lady in the library? I should have done that. I guess I probably missed half the game anyway. I might just follow the blue the blue thing. She went to the class? Yeah, I guess. It seems like all you get from missing not reading the books is missing getting the pop quizzes wrong. Ooh, decryption. Dom! Hello, Dom! You <laughs> true creeper is a dork. Ha, nice one, dork. It wasn't that nice, Ramona. You're thicker than the fire outside cord. Name. Name. Dominic. Tells it more of the stones I was going to say. Oh, it's called the Rosetta Stone. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, she knew who, she, who he was. No point in starting a stream without finishing it. It's unoriginal enough to be entertained when it's played in your face rip off some parodies. Okay, that's one vote. What's the other tablet with the blue grotto transcript? I hope it's, I hope it's Rosetta, because I don't know. Uh, I guess not. So from which came the Baron Holloway to code. Blue Grotto, I just guessed. I don't think it matters, so... These strange symbols seem to represent digits. See if you can deduce their meaning and tell me which number should replace the question mark. What is this here? Oh, I see. Okay, so I gotta first figure out. I mean, is it just like the opposite of what's on here? Is one C and like five is circle and three is this one guy, this dude, or Where's, this symbol doesn't even exist? It's not even on here. That's supposed to be the scribbled out thing. Uh. So it could be like 65, maybe? Or it could be 43? 43 is not an option, so I'm gonna say 65. 65, dude. Yay! I didn't really deduce anything about six, I just guessed. All right, let's try the harder one. Matt, Colton Northern, Jennifer, what do you think about continuing this game versus not continuing it? Look at that symbol on the piece of paper and try to find it in the photo. What symbol? Do you mean this 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 four here? Oh, it's like on the back. It's on the back of the thing. 
There's like one, two, three, so four must be like in the back somewhere. Yeah, okay. Hey, top marks. You somehow managed it. Extra homework. Dad construct a machine, I'll get rid of the fog. Blah blah blue. Be in the backyard door if you're in. So I'm supposed to go there or there like I guess there's different symbols here. So there's like there's a yellow symbol made it's for classes. And the blue so oh I see, okay. So there's different that's how it works. There's like one symbol if you want to be a loser and go to class. And there's another symbol with uh if you want to do something fun. So I'm just going to I don't know. Clone Wars said, yeah, probably worth continuing to play later. So I imagine <laughs> Dobby, are these the friends you've been telling me about? This is Mr. Weasley. Dad So we didn't say what is Dobby. Pleasure to meet you. A friend of Dom's, a friend of mine. Or a loser. Yeah, hump that machine. Turning it on. It's just a stream calibrator. Can you help me with it? Sure. It's a puzzle. Starting the machine is simple. All you need to do is flip two switches. The only problem is you do not know which two. All the manual tells you is this. Red, red, green, green, yellow, red. Which two switches do you need to flip? Red, red, green, green, yellow, red. What happens if I flip... Oh, I just dragged pin, so I can't even see. Red, red, green, green, yellow, red. Juxtaflux capacitor fluxing. Flux capacitor fluxing. Engine running and... Red, red, green, green, yellow, red. What the hell does that mean? Red, red. No, red, red. Doesn't work either. I don't know if flipping the switches even does. That's the problem. Like, it would be nice if I understood what the what the indication was. Like, if I would choose by trial and error in real life. I would flip a switch and see what it does. As opposed to just having to guess. There's also the numbers here. Are these area codes? Red, red, green, green. Gene, Gene made a machine! Joe, Joe made it go. Art, art, blew a fart and blew the whole damn thing apart. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Uh, red, red, green, green. <laughs> it's like GG made a machine. It's a yellow, red. Zero, one. What do these numbers mean? I'm totally confused. Does anybody have any idea? Or should I take a hint? And this will probably be the last puzzle for today also because I know it's getting a little bit late and it's been an hour and a half. Um, any, any ideas here? Red. Red, red, red. Okay, I'm trying to think what else this reminds me of. I just have no freaking idea. I say head. Alright, good. We both say head. You may have figured out you have to find, find a path through the wire so that you may have overlooked. Nothing can stop you from backtracking. Alright, I did overlook that.
Red, red, green, green. Yellow, no. So you the <laughs> You're smart there. Red, red, green, green, yellow, red. Maybe that's what it is. Which is really freaking stupid. What kind of dumb instructions would that be? It's moronic. The tricky part is really need to backtrack. Why would you do that? The real the electrical pro problem, you wouldn't backtrack ever. All right, let's do the bonus question. The nodes of these bars are so close to being symmetrical. You can achieve symmetry by swapping some of the numbers. There are multiple ways to go about this. What is the lowest possible sum of all the numbers you can swap? I mean, swapping the two and the three seems like the easiest thing to me. That would be five. Is there any other way of swapping numbers that would... I mean, it is symmetrical, by the way, if you look at it along the diagonal here. But it says, it says, it implies that it's not symmetrical right now. I mean, I think it is symmetrical, honestly. Oh, wait, wait a second, it's not, because the fours and the zeros wouldn't be. Right? Yeah. But I can switch the four and the zero around, and then it would be symmetrical sideways. That would be four then. Jennifer also says four, then she says never mind. Uh, but I think you might be right. In fact, I'm going to say that. Well done, if you swap 0 and 4, you can achieve a diagonal symmetry. That is correct. So I get, I get to solve some of them too. <laughs> Let's see what this machine did. Maximum power. Was the machine supposed to clear out the weather? That make a small storm cloud? It must have miscalculated. So we're here. Maybe that small roof. I don't want to catch pneumonia. Or I'll, at least, I'll at least walk to this to see what happens here with this fog before I turn it off. Take your time, buddy. First is bear. Now this weather. What's up with Octavia and you today? Great sky. <laughs> not it, not it. Can we go check over there? Okay, I'll check. Looks like someone's there. What's the evil dude? <gasps> He's wearing a hoodie! He must be bad! He's wearing a hoodie! Where are you going? He went the other way. That's him. Yes, yeah, so why do you want to come as me? Let's flank him. Why don't you flank him before he came talking to me? Again, the class... I'm going far away from my classroom activity. I'm going to the crypt instead. <gasps> there he is! He's wearing a hoodie! <gasps> Go! Get, come back here, you un stupid... Not nice man! Come on, that's ridiculous. <laughs> he disappeared again. Another one of those three dimensional things. Alright, I guess this is Morris Tua Vita Mia. Alright, I guess this is gonna be the last thing I'll do today, and then I'll stop. Swag walks to the villain like a discount of Madame, yeah. Uh, why is there like a thing on top there like that? What the hell is that? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know where. Let's go. 
those. Make any more pieces as it goes along. Okay, now make, they're making it a little bit harder now. Not necessarily all the pieces fit. You all fit just out of nowhere. That was right, come on. <sighs> Don't see if it goes anywhere. Not sure that was a hoodie though. It looked like his hair. I think <laughs> might have done Snape. I mean, I don't know. I think that was supposed to be a hoodie. He's ga thug gangsta life, you know. He probably looks very suspicious to anybody that made this game. It's completed. Look, <gasps> what's it doing? It broke again. It's sucking up all the fog. <gasps> Fog is all gone. I guess it was all caused by that guy and his machine. Who's this guy? It's my dad. <laughs> the weather cleared up. No, I don't think it was your machine. Alright, so it's... I am actually a little bit curious who the, who the guy in the, in the hoodie is now. see a lot of dots. I can't connect them yet. Alright. I'm sort of... Okay, so now, I've, now I'm supposed to go towards my class, I guess. But I'm, I'm going to stop for now. I think it's been enough for today. But, uh, you know, I sort of agree in terms of continuing to play this. That's where you get exaggerated swagger room. I think I think I sort of agree in terms of continuing to play this. It's not it's not bad. Uh, it's not I mean it's not good not great, but puzzles are fun and that's the most important thing. So you know we can deal with this the bad 3D animation and the stupid story if at least the puzzles will be interesting. But I think I definitely need all you guys to help out. I think if I tried to play this game myself anyway, I'd probably have a lot less fun because uh, I wouldn't be able to figure it out. So let's stop here. And uh, we'll pick us up again, uh, not, I guess, uh, not to, maybe on Sunday. Uh, Saturday night, um, Scott is like harassing me to uh, play the Star Trek Bridge Crew game again. So we might do that, or we might do another TRS-80 game. I have two things lined up. Not sure which one yet, maybe both. And then Sunday will be continuation of this game sometime in the evening on Sunday. Jennifer says, I enjoy the collaboration, and I certainly enjoy the collaboration as well, Jennifer. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you, everybody, for being here. We had a great uh, crowd tonight. Quilted Northern, Jeremy, Matt, Scott, Ross was here, uh, Brian, I think, was here. A bunch of people were here before, so thanks, everybody, that was here, and um, we will do this again soon. Yeah, Scott wants me in the bridge cruise team. All right, so hopefully we'll do that. And like I said, we'll do TRS-80 also. I'm not sure. TRS-80 is not going to take very long, so maybe we'll do that first, then do Bridge Crew. That's what I wanted to do, actually, last time. And then Scott took his eyes out, or whatever he was talking about, so he wasn't able to play. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, I'm probably, I'm probably going to do, like, two streams on tomorrow night. Like, a quick TRS-80 stream, and then, uh, we'll do, we can do Bridge Crew after that. Not tomorrow night, Saturday night. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks so much. Have a great evening. We'll do this again real soon. And uh, have a great evening, everybody. Thanks for playing. If you, Oh, if, you, if you're watching this after the fact, or now, hit the like button, subscribe, add some comments, you know. <laughs> do all the good things. Have a good night, folks. Bye-bye.